Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Now I played the Spurs game and it was two to draw considering that their defence was Varan and Ramos but so that is contender for goal of the season honestly. An amazing run in an amazing solo goal and like to actually be able to get a near post shot in past Loris like that is insane. And then Joe Willock, like again, to be able to get a near post shot in uh, past Loris is insane. He was just really not being careful at his near post. Yeah, I am going to turn, uh, like, Humble off. Because I thought it would make it a bit more realistic. No, Hamble just ruins the game. Yeah, we have three shots there, ten. So it just proves that we're better at converting them. Well, actually, the Bravka did really well, so it doesn't really. Is this that net? Yeah, this is the next Thierry Henry. Be able to trade this guy to left winger. Then his rating will go up quite a bit. With youngsters, I usually just give them their same wage with no bonuses, it makes sense. I don't know why, but I just feel like it makes a bit more sense. So we have a game. I think I can sim this one. I have no idea what that team is. He Helsinki? 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 <laughs> Wait, are we really winless in the league? Because we're actually doing really well in the league, even though we're technically winless. Now, Barney and uh, Callum Wilson are both 82 rated. How much does... Um, Dynamic potential affect this guy. 
I should probably stay on mobile striker. But it seems like he's really affected by uh what's it good? Okay. Manquilio right wing back. Murray left wing back. Tyler Roberts, left winger. I'll be playing the game against Ors because they're pretty decent. possession eight shots and they and they converted their one chance this is the problem with us again we are really good at countering but if we let the other team just have one chance we concede okay muto sold uh hi guys i will play this game now uh yeah Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Now today I am playing uh, this um, Newcastle City. Now performances maybe might dip quite a bit at some points because I thought because um this thing which measures how much RAM, CPU, and GPU I'm using said oh using zero, but I was also processing a video at the same time and I was like. Well, that's a bit weird. You don't usually use zero while processing video, but I went op on to open FIFA to record my video, and then I'm like, hmm, okay, it does feel a bit more laggy than more laggy than normal. And then when I started this recording, I was like, it has a like has like it. This is the Xbox Game Bar, and it tells you what has the biggest um, and it was on high, which I mean, and you probably shouldn't. You should probably only have one or two high things and maybe two or three medium things and uh, it doesn't really matter how many low things you have and this I mean, I'd have two high things so yeah it's just uh oh the team is quite tired um fingers crossed imagine if we draw against chilling them I am signing a new goalkeeper halfway through the season. I know the is doing really good and all, but he can't keep conceding these late goals. Like I don't know if it's like a stat or a trait where, because it feels like he's got something. Where the longer I, where the longer the game goes, yep. Yeah, one of those lag spikes is happening here where look it's just not letting me go across it but um yep yeah. <laughs> but yeah um he just keeps conceding like really late goals which ruin our wins like he conceded two against spurs after getting two nil up he conceded one late goal against chelsea which meant it was one one like we we're drawing against really good teams which is good but then we're drawing against bad teams as well so there is a goalie that i'm kind of targeting um well there's two really good i already have the scout report of nick pope so i don't need to 
but um, wait for his. But there's another actually. And this one might actually be a bit better. Because I've used him before in current mode. And I managed to get him to like an 87 rated. Um, even though his... Um, even though he's that old, I managed to act, okay, they're both literally 83 rated, worth the exact same, but I, I, I feel like Emiliano Martinez just, I, I know I am a Wolves fan, so, <laughs> but also Pope does seem like a really good player so just gonna see how much budget I have because uh, pretty sure Pope also has more wage mmm I Okay. Um, sorry about that. So we should receive the money around the time, but I need to figure out. Um, Kevin De Bruyne. Stop it. I need to figure out how to get a bit more money into the club. Kevin De Bruyne. Be because um, I think I think what would be a good player to sell where I can get a load of money. Uh. Um, of someone who I'm not even using. That's what I call clever tactics. Or maybe I either sell or I have De Bravka in a swap deal for one of those two goalies. Because they're all 83 rated. It's just that De Bravka isn't playing how I'd like him to. He's playing a, he's playing a bit, um, like he's playing actually a bit worse than, um, uh, Darlo was. But I believed in Darlo for that time when I was playing him, and he did, like, really good. So I'm actually gonna go in for the offers now, because I should be able to get a big chunk of money off, um, the buys. I think. So I'll go go in for Emiliano Martinez first. Now my plan is because they usually because if they reject if they just straight up reject money first time, um, you're doomed. You can't so not straight money uh, and reject the player plus money. You're doomed. So I will literally offer all the money I have. I would actually say that's a fair, fair price for him. Nick Pope should be cheaper though. Morgan back. It's just stupid. Come on, come on, please. Zoom. It should be. Propose other. The Bravka. Yes, 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 yes. Nick Pope could be into Newcastle. And anyway, the Bravka really is aging. And have him just for this extra half season and Pope in could be a great deal, actually.
Yep. Four years. If he doesn't accept that, I'm happy with three. Well, he accepts. Yeah, I don't want him to have a release clause. And I'll offer you 60k and 300 oh, and clean tree bonus. I'll give you 190k every time you get five clean sheets. Yes! Yes! Uh, two, like, what the game calls pre-contract signings. They're really just signings that you make um, when the uh, transfer window isn't open. I'll be playing most of our European games, so... Mm, I'll be simming this game against Palace, it should be easy. Uh, uh, yeah, this is what I mean by um, lag caused. Um, okay, 13th Palace. Yeah, I remember they signed them. Their wing is Lamella Zaha. Um, their striking force, I don't know either of those. Don't know that. Uh, okay, a lot of their team I don't know other than their wide players. Well, their wide forward players. Please win. Yes! We're looking. Wilson. I bet you bet. Uh, what? Roberts on from a ray. Like some of those who made it. Ah, Brooks score a red card. Pretty early on, so uh, Taylor Roberts was subbed on. I'm glad I actually um, gave Willock the role of Cam again, because as soon as I converted him back. He's just playing like, I don't know, Ronaldinho? The English Ronaldinho would be a great name to have, but, you know, it's kind of a lot of pressure on you, actually. Like, people calling you the English Ronaldinho and stuff like that. They're like, oh, the English Ronaldinho. You know, that would actually be really annoying for players, because, um... A lot of the, the, the two clubs that I want to sim against because they should be e no basic uh, shouldn't be this is what I mean by uh, less frame rate and stuff uh, that team they're actually in the Champions League in real life I think they got knocked out but you know, they, they are a Champions League level team in real life. They must have just been unlucky and maybe came second in the, I think they're Turkish team. Why did I click on Champions League? I tried to check where we are in the Premier League. And this is what I mean, it's taken like full 15 seconds just to load the Champions League groups. My game will probably crash as soon as I open a game, so I have to save before that. <laughs> oh, seven games and four draws and one win. Our goal difference is zero, obviously. <laughs> um, we're four points off Everton, five off Chelsea. Um, how much is that? <laughs> can't count seven um behind spurs arsenal go the rest of the season with without losing beating their own record it's weird how the worst team in the league right now is the team that spent 25 million to keep themselves up and they can't win Wait, 
have they had like tough draws or is like it was was signing Buemo just like a horrible idea but I will play the final game now now I'll have to save before I actually play it because uh, with this kind of lag because I'm rendering another FIFA video right now so what's happening is while I'm rendering this I'm recording and I've got oh, and I've currently got open a game that's even worse than City Skylines which I also play and just don't record it but yeah I'll play that final game now I am back so uh, Willock scored a brace. Um, there's a wonderful play from both him and Wilson. Then Willock scores um, he, the second. Brooks tries to score, but it falls to Willock and he takes the shot. Now, one of their players, look, I thought that was in, honestly. And I thought that was a corner, actually. And then I subbed on Brian Robbery, and he he just felt really powerful and strong. Because whenever I was dribbling with him, no one could actually get the ball off him. Uh, yeah, three to win. But, but no, yeah, no one could actually get the ball off him because what he was doing all game uh, was he uh, all he was doing all game was. Um, um, pretty much just getting the ball and running forward with all the strength because he's a really strong player. Like, I can actually compare his strength to like Traore. So, he's a great player when you're in a game and you just want to. I, I probably should have subbed him on in that Spurs game because their defense of um. Sergio Ramos and Varane, who have both won a Champions League, I think they've both either won a Champions League once or more than once, two times, but because they've both played for uh, Real Madrid most of their careers, like um, Ramos since like 2005 or something, and no, it can't be that. that, that it, can, it should must be like 2007 that he joined them. I'm not sure, but yay! We're on the first of October. Who do I have to sacrifice this time? Because they rejected me. <laughs> like I'm, a, I'm the manager of him in, um. Uh, in the youth, uh, not, not the, the Mexico squad, and I offer for him in my actual squad, actually not knowing that he is Mexican, and they were like, and then they rejected me, and I was like, why did you fail me? So I just took them out of the Mexico squad. <laughs> yeah, that's totally, like, let's say that Gareth South, South game managed a city, and he tried to buy, um, Jaden Sancho and because he didn't want to sign or uh, he just takes him out of the England squad. That would actually be kind of funny though. Would it? It would be a bit funny actually. <laughs> but also sad for Jaden Sancho and all the Dortmund fans. Where's Brooks on red? It's been two games since he got that ban. Okay, but bye guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed making it, I hope you enjoyed watching it, so bye!